Okay, so we are the number one great power. The closest, the next person the, with, with the GDP that isn't our subject or the Qing has 20 million GDP because we keep continually crushing everyone and forcing them to release things if they get over that. So right now, my PC is screaming. Uh, I'm going to annex as few as my subjects or as many as I can, really. They might accept 6% chance. Loyal subject difference in... Uh, yeah, okay, so I have to just annex them outright, sure. Uh, our infamy, by the way, is 525. That doesn't matter. That gives me massive radicals from conquest, um, but that's fine. I don't care. I'm going to do this one by one. I'd love to have this lot be federated, but I just don't know what they're doing. Ah, oh, Jesus, this is why my PC is lagging. Hudson Bay Company, 3.8 million GDP. Like, we're still doing it. Okay, right, what, what do you want? You want to Columbia District? No. Not doing that, Russia. Liberate Scotland, liberate Ulster. <laughs> okay. Austria might join, but have a truce with everyone else. Uh, you know the rules here. I'm just going to sit there and... and... Ooh, that's a big one. Liberate Perm. Let's get the Baltic states over here. Estonia. Uh, Lithuania. I can do one more. Uh, give me more reps. I want to keep it so his capital stays over here. Mobilize everything. Why are you uncertain? <laughs> Like, surely, we'd, surely, we have, like, so many more times troops than you. Like, just, just, come on. Austria, size of Russia. Yeah, I sort of guessed that would happen. That's fine. I still have no ironclads. I, I have, honestly, at this point, I have no clue why they're not being used. Like, ironclads are being produced. I'm the number one producer worldwide of ironclads. But they just don't want to upgrade. And I don't know why. Maybe I need to be at peace. And I'm just never at peace. I'll try that. <laughs> Prussia might come in, but they hate me too much. All right, there we go. There's a war. And let's just straight up invade Ingria real quick. It'll take three months. It's, it's a long time for <laughs> this game. <laughs> He'll only agree to be annexed if we liberate his buddy in Budokan. That's really cute. I'm assuming this caps at 300%, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah, it does. So it's fine. There we go. Hyderabad has been annexed. And the army of India just got a little bit bigger. Okay, so if I were to build you outright, like those, would you not... Well, I'm, okay, I'll build them and I'll just see if that works. All right, we're going to send our navy out here. Hopefully it'll fight the Russian navy. All right, home counties of... The home army's eventually getting there. This guy's been all over the world. Oh my god, they're dead. <laughs> okay, so uh, for those of you who haven't seen the previous video, one reason I'm able to do this so successfully is that armies seem to flock to my colonies because there's an open front there. So we have Russia completely abandoning. Look at that. The Austrians as well, completely abandoning everything to go fight in Alaska. We've unfortunately conquered Alaska, so they're on their way back, but that's, that's why we're able to do this basically uncontested each time. In the last one, we were able to take out the entirety of uh, France just by doing that. All right, we're going to go full secret police on this. Come on, lads, push in. There are only Russians. Right, we're trying to land over in Estonia as well. Okay, we're actually building ironclads. The ironclads are being built, but they won't, they're not upgrading. So I might just have to use Man of Wars this entire game. As a general rule, I will f invade the third party. Um, the, you know, the non-negotiating participant, in this case Austria. Um, if I think it'll be easier than just jumping into the capital state directly. Because the capital state over here is so easily accessible. Uh, we just need to hold that for a while and Russia will capitulate. So there's no point in me jumping into Austria. Whereas last time when I fought the USA, Italy, and France, I went for Italy and the United States first because pushing into France is miserable. The best of times, let alone we have two other great powers helping them. All right, we're in. We just need to hold it now. These are my favorite types of fights where uh, they're nowhere near. <laughs> it's going to take them 30 days. By that point, I think I'll have taken this entire uh, portion. Let's see, 22 days. Nope, too late. <laughs> His army's there. They just, they just can't do anything about it. Ooh. Uh, sure. Just give me land over to the East Indies. Makes sense. I don't know if it does or not. I just did it. Okay, there's another German leadership thing going on. Again, provided it's not... Um, return Pomerania. Why is Pomerania... What? No, I can't allow that to happen. Hang on. But then I'd have to give you back... I don't want either of you to do anything. Why can't I just decide to say, Hey, both of you, <laughs> pipe down. No, <laughs> stay. It'd be cool if that was an option. You just you fight as a third party. Like, look, I'm not having this. Probably should have taken Alaska. No, wait, that would be stupid because that's kind of the whole 
my whole thing is that they create other fronts. Austria is pieced out. Probably shouldn't do this while some uh, like upgrade troops while some fighting, but honestly, I think it's fine. 98, 100. Okay, so Russia, probably not a great power anymore. No, they are. It's just that the standard's really low. Let's go ahead and reduce autonomy in all these places. So what I'm doing, by the way, right now uh, is I'm kind of annoyed that they're not confederating, so I'm doing it manually. This is cheating. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. Uh, but my PC is really slowing down, chaps. It's not fun. So in where available, I'm going through. Because these, these options here to uh, Confederate Canada are available. They just don't click it. And I don't know why. Because in every other game I've seen, they just do it. Okay, cheating aside, we can now move on. Uh, Okatania is fighting the Japanese Shogunate. What could we ask for? Obligations? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I could just conquer myself. Okay, more protectorates can happen, but I only want to do that after I've secured Persia. So, we just turn in Persia until 69, so three years we could do that. Is there anyone else I can go for now? Denmark? There's Brittany as well. We'll go Brittany first. Shame you can only do one of these at a time right now. Spain side of Brittany? The first time you've backed anything other than, well, yourself. Actually works nicely because I can liberate Catalonia. Andalusia. I can then go ahead and liberate Galicia. And I'll take your war operations. Thank you. Okay. Now, in the areas that I have logging camps, electric sawmills, I can do this. Come on, where are you? Oh, right. Yeah, steam trawlers. My bad. Electric sawmills. Wherever we can get them. Now, the power plants should get going now. Uh, does that mean we have an engine shortage? No, we should be fine. Coal, steel. Oh, my God. Shortage of everything. Okay, open hearth process. I'm going to do that now. But we're going to need way more iron. The Pomeranians are defending against the Prussians. Nice. I like it when the kids fight. <laughs> oh no, Gibraltar. Get there, boys. Where's the army of India? Mobilize them. Get them in Gibraltar. We can't let this happen. Oh, cool. We've got secret affairs now. Da -da -da. We're going to need that suppression. We're really going to need that suppression. <laughs> I'm going to start conquering things with plus 100% uh, radicals. Yeah. Okay, Brittany just back down. I mean, that means you don't have a truce, right? And everyone else is involved in a war, so... Liberate. Uh, liberate. Ooh, uh, give me the Philippines. I'll be honest, no idea what's going on in Europe right now. No idea. Italy's the second ranked great power with... An abysmal amount of prestige, and no one aside from me has over 20 million. Uh, oh no, the Japanese show are gonna do. Cool, let's um start doing something with that. We'll start taking them out. Also, I should go pay the Qing a visit. Lancashire has an electricity shortage. Why? Do you have a power plant? Yes. Why is it not working? I will subsidize it. Just isn't working. Because the engine's too expensive, I'm assuming. Alright, let's pop down an engine thing right here. Oh, Prussia's supporting him. Um, okay. Sure. I mean, you're not going to be able to put troops here because you're fighting your own war, so... Not really sure what that's about. You're actively losing another war. Right, there's the war. Do you want to open up another front? Cool, we've got Metropolitan uh, Police. That's good. Wait, are you in this war? Oh, look at Tanya is. That's nice. We've sunk 1,500 enemy convoys immediately. So Bavaria's been occupied. Wait, they got a cool flag or a different flag. What'd they do? Oh no, it's just been occupied by Austria. Why have been occupied by Austria? Oh, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna have that whole thing where we can't land anything because it's constantly being con yeah, the, being stalled due to enemy fleets, and it's because there's the Cuba fleet. I have to defeat them, and everything gets ready to set, and then it doesn't happen again because there's another fleet. Our troops are just better than everyone else. <laughs> Weird that. Oh, wood from the Ottoman awesome market going down is actually really bad. Still at the highest offense in the world, apparently. I wonder who has that. I imagine just us, but on a different army. So Prussia's taken back Pomerania. We can deal with that later. Uh, the Sikh Empire are still an unrecognized regional power, so we can go and nab them. Oh yeah, Okatani were meant to be doing this, weren't they? But <laughs> they keep on losing to the Japanese fleet. That's cool. All right, one more battle. We should have the entire state under our control. Are there any other laws we want to do? I don't really know that there are. We restrict child labor, I guess. Let's do that. Which seems like a nice thing to do. Yeah, cool. Negative 11 now. Okay, the Ottomans are having a pretty hefty military revolt. Does that mean 
Oh, they're still unrecognized major power. Sometimes if they, like, that's how we got Ukraine. Is that, like, if they drop low enough, we can, we can grab them. Okay, we are going to be, we are suffering the manpower front a little bit. So we probably need to chill after this war. Spain has actually done a decent chunk of damage to us. More than anyone else has. Sweet. And then we'll white piece. Okay, cool. Uh, so, let us station you home. Maybe that means that you'll actually start bringing things together. Right, you're going to start grading. <gasps> it's happening. Okay, so I need I needed to station them, I think. Yeah, cool. All right, the United States wants to have another go. Why are you confident? Turmoil in Great Britain. We don't have turmoil. Ah, well, there's a lot of radicals. But aside from that, no one else can get involved. Everyone's too small. That's the amazing thing here is that no one else can... Like, I've declared the entire world as my interests. No one else can do that. That's just something that I can do. So it's just me and you, buddy. And you know what? I'm actually sick of you. I'm going to start taking you out. What is this? Arkansas. That one. I want to take Missouri. Where's Missouri? Missouri, Iowa, and Minnesota. Minnesota. And then we need Iowa as well. We're just splitting them off to like make it such that this side over here gets absolutely nothing. We take Illinois as well, I guess. We can't. What about uh, anything east like Tennessee? It's just not worth it, huh? Okay. Um, well, let's see what everyone else we can involve for. <laughs> you want to take any of these provinces off of me, and then you'll uh, you'll do it. That's really funny. American war reparations and New Africa comes in. Nice. I'm just gonna give them. Yeah. Pay reparations, guys. <laughs> it's happening. Okay, clearly child labor, restricting child labor is not the thing to do today. If you are American and your sense of national pride is uh, easily hurt, I, I would look away. The United States of America is it's not going to be so united after this one. See, the US passed 20 million GDP. <laughs> Sorry. Just, oh, it's amazing. You can see what people like slowly grow, uh, like grew, grown, grown, grew. Something like that. They've they've gone up. Line gone up. Oh man! And you can see where um I've I've fought people and they've gone down, down. down. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, your station in England HQ. Your top front. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. You'll get there soon. I'm gonna navally invade DC the second I can. I should probably make bigger armies. I can afford it, but I don't really need to. That's the thing. My armies are sufficient as is. Mainly because I do this and use a very good navy just to position people around the place. Okay, you have all ironclads now. Uh, you have uh, too many ironclads. And you're good. Where are you going? Oh, it's a navy. I was about to say, I just thought an army was just chilling. New Africa's actually holding on its own. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, it's the Mexicans are there as well. See, in this timeline, the US never attacked Mexico. So I imagine there's less uh, animosity between those two. State construction, oh god. That means I need to shift over my production stuff. Uh, do we get monitors now? Kinda have to. Junicol, monitors, so prototypes, and then actually I could just go straight for trench work. Nah, inefficient. There you go, landed immediately. Okay, so. Oh, more transportation. Let's do it. Uh, if I wanted to switch over, that's gonna cost me 144k, that's fine. We're gonna need less wood, which is great. We need so much more glass and explodes. Yes, just do it. Whatever. I don't care. All right. What do we need? We need steel and coal. Loads of steel, actually. That's all good. And now let's get a railway going in the Midlands. Sweet. You were trying to make the Constantine a protector. Yeah, France, man. You, you, you missed that one. Wait, Okatani has sided against you. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's rough. Still a major power, though. You're still the fifth rank great power in the world. Well done. <gasps> GDP's crossed 20 million. I told everyone. <laughs> no developing past 20 million. Otherwise, I'm coming for you. I take it personally, but you clearly exploited the land to get that. Anyway, let's go back to the sea empire soon. <laughs> An exile at the gates. I don't know who you are. Go away. <laughs> the game's just chugging along. He's trying, bless him. He's really trying. We're currently at 660. Oh, almost about to be 666. Uh... Infamy. That's fine. Every time there's a battle, he just... Yeah, there's, there's no one here. Panics retreat. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Can't even say the British are coming, because we're sort of already there. They've got 90 divisions over on this front here. Um, and they're ignoring, well, everything else. That is still your capital, right? 
Yeah, so you should be going down a bit faster than this. I, I just don't think I've ever taken it that quickly. 100% enemy control over war goals. Substantial enemy occupation. That's minus one, minus one. That's minus two. It gets minus five each time. Yeah, it's pretty big. Oh, God. One second. I'm just going to assume you can handle this. You actually can. That's nice. Where are you going? Oh, around there. Okay. We still need so much wood. I thought, I thought we were done with this. But no, everything needs wood. Let's just import wood from Belarusia. Coal as well. I'll import some things. Might as well. Wait, you'll just do it, will you? Nope. nope. You won't give war operations to the uh, New Africans state. Well, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna hold out because I told them that I'd do it. This is gonna be horrible. Probably should have just done it here and then taken Texas and then destroyed this because all of this stuff here is gonna become worthless now because they're gonna have no market access. Negative one. You know what? I'm not gonna offer the peace to them. I'm just gonna make them surrender. I've waited this long for it. Yeah, just surrender to me. I want you to capitulate. And we're good. Oh, boy. So this stuff here is going to have zero market access. So they're all going to die now. That's that's like a million people. A bit more than that. Cool. Okay. Uh, right, next thing we need to do is cheat. I accidentally opened it for multiplayer. Please. Damn it. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Okay. Reload. <laughs> Guess that's what I get for cheating. <laughs> We're trying to. I didn't even get that far. Okay, switch country. Again, I'm just performance as much as possible. This feels like a comfortable way to do it. There we go. It's another one. Federate Australia. Federate Australia. All right, it's just like one more left on that one and like two more on that one. Cool. Australia Federation. Excellent. That's done. Okay. Cool. Federate Australia. Confederate Canada. Did that do it? Almost. All right. Canada's been successfully confederated. You know, there's a Columbia district there. Excellent. That'll help. Instead of having like 12 different ones, we've dropped it down to two. Well, three. Okay. Now let's go ahead and reduce autonomy in places like Ukraine, in Sweden, Manchuria, Australia, uh, Norway, New Africa. Oh, why not North Carolina? And the last one, true shall stay. 30% chance. <gasps> he did it. Nice. 25. 25. 25. They just won't accept. 25. Okay, these are all 25, right? Yeah, okay. All right. Well, let's go for the bigger ones first, I guess. Yeah, okay. All right, fair. Understandable. Fortunately, we have the Army of India ready to go. But that also means we need to increase this lot because they need to actually be able to carry them no my silks well that's death you can't mess with a man's silk oh i might i might be able to nab you i might be able to nab you if he doesn't bump it up by three in a year you'll you'll go down to an unrecognized regional power and then i've got you like we're going to calmly go through his country in order to join the front line you're worried then just back down it's very likely that we'll back they don't even back down. They're just back. These New States of America, do they have wood? <gasps> Alright, violently suppress Minnesota then. <laughs> I think anyone's ever done that before, but that's what we're doing. I need my logging camps, lads. Sorry. This will drop if it's below 171 for a while. It'll become an unrecognized major power. Or minor power. Prove Olivia's decided to damage our mutual relations. Yeah, I can't imagine it's going to help you too much. What's this? Conquer Spanish Southern Cameroon. Huh. Oh, Spain's a minor power. <laughs> Can nick that. Oh, right, yeah, Silk. Um, You need to die, I'm afraid. Unless I can make you a protector. Oh, yeah, right, that was the whole point of making you a protector soon. I'm just going to wait this one out. Who else is available? All this lot already ours. Spain, Bavaria... Kazan, Belgium. Spain, Bavaria, Kazan, Belgium. Okay. How close? Could I knock you down? Probably not. Just take out Egypt. What the hell? The Maasai have launched a native uprising against me. Does that mean I can't... Please don't tell me that means I can't declare things. I'm going to be somebody livid. Yep, that does. So, uh, so because the Maasai tribe want to take me out, I can't declare any wars? 
Why? Why do the Maasai have that much power? They're literally starving. They got more people than GDP. But they can ground or halt the global empire that's kept everyone else down. That's stupid. Oh my god, the original power now. We can, we can take you away. We can do it right now. It leaves us open to take others. Just come on. Now can I do it? Nope, because I'm at war. <laughs> I hate this game. Why? <laughs> I've already occupied them immediately. Obviously I did. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I can't do anything until then. It's ridiculous. It just slows me down for the sake of it. And I hate it. Like, there's nothing gameplay-based right here. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's no feasible, conceivable reason why I shouldn't be able to declare war on another nation. The, I, the, the whole being only in one diplomatic player at the same time. I understand for balancing. I understand for all these different reasons. But, like, from a functional gameplay perspective, this is frustrating. And now, because I've... I haven't even conquered the Maasai, to be clear. I've gotten colonization rights from them. I can now declare war on southern China. All right, Qing sided with them. It's actually ideal for us. We don't have to bother with naval invasions. What was this? All right, yeah, Manchuria. Okay, the Japanese shogunate sided with UA. Hmm. Now, can I knock you down to, so I can make you a puppet? Yes, I can if I split you up a little bit. Okay, well, let's do that then. Uh, liberate country. Would Izo do it? Well, we'll try. Wait, what? Egypt. Okay, I can I can definitely knock Egypt down, Peg. I can do that by just taking this province. That's 35% of their GDP. Okay, we'll do it. So we're going to be doing a lot of war here. Uh, conquer state. Uh, lower Egypt. And then we'll liberate... Do we liberate Sudan, just to be sure? Nah, it kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, Shandong. And that's it. Anyone else joining in? It's a weird coalition. UA and Qing, and then Egypt and Japan. <laughs> okay, electricity shortage over here in the home counties. That's bad. Why is there? Is it? Yeah, it's going to be the price of motors. Home counties in Wales. We can do that now. Oh, I have no commanders here. They don't have any... Okay, they do have troops here. About to say. Uh, that front looks dire. That's okay. I'm just going to push out into the, into the Qing anyway. Get them to surrender. We'll then have to naval invade UA, but that's okay. Uh, the Japanese will, might be an issue. I don't know if we can get this all done in this one war. We can try. Keep eyes our killing rate is huge. Then uh, this lot, the, the start of the battle, um, will have killed 7,000. They don't just come back. <laughs> They die. Which is why we struggled against France in that first war last video. Because our guys were just dying. And so I just had to sit there and stay defensive and wait until we could actually take them out. I've also been like colonizing this entire time. Uh, slowly because I've been colonizing everywhere. But that's fine. Uh, I just let others colonize and then I can just take their stuff. And they've chosen to liberate Miwa is their war goal. So, I, I <laughs> sure. Which is never going to happen, so I can never drop below zero. So it's going to take me ages, but I will eventually get my war goal here. And we've taken out... That's his capital state, right? Yeah, so he'll peace out eventually. Uh, let's then get a naval invasion going of... I can't remember which one's your capital state. Kansai, okay. Let's get a naval invasion going of Kansai. And let's get the army of Ireland over here. Start an invasion of that. Yeah, look, they could just leave the port. Like, all of these troops should be trapped, but they're not. They could just go back to their original state. They don't even take any losses from it. And it's very frustrating. Anyone else managed to cross the 20 million threshold? You wait, it's going to be ours. Japanese Shogunate were fighting. <laughs> and obviously the Qing, but... Yeah. Oh, they don't have any troops here. Why not? <laughs> wait, is, is it preventing them from landing? Oh, no, the Qing now can just land. Cool, very cool. And my forces are split, so they can just... I can't defend the capital. Sometimes, man. Yeah, my forces are split, so I can't defend this. What the hell is wrong with your defense? What? What? Japan? Have you not even remotely modernized? Are these all irregulars? <gasps> oh, buddy. No, that's wrong. That's a, that's, a, that's a you problem. That's a big... That's... Jesus, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> You know that scene in The Last Samurai, if you've seen that movie? Right at the end, uh, Tom Cruise and all his Asian buddies uh, start like charging towards the uh, the machine gun nests. 
bad, and then they will get shot down because of the cavalry. But then that's like an honorable thing because they refuse to use guns, which is also not true. The samurai are very fond of guns. They use them tremendously effectively. So you're going to peace out soon, or like you should. 50% enemy control of all of the FR. Yeah, you'll peace out eventually. Um, oh, yeah, Ching just peaced out. I imagine you will soon. All right. Edzo is... Oh, what? That did way... Uh, yeah, that did way less than I thought it was. Okay, cool. Uh, let us now go over here. I'm with Ireland. Where are you? Invading over Lower Egypt. You can invade over here with this lot. Portsmouth Station. What the hell? All oh, right, monitors are now a thing, but I just don't... I don't have any of them. Home Guard... You are going to sneak around the back and naval invade uh, Middle Egypt. <laughs> okay, right. Where are your troops? <laughs> where, where did they go? Why do you only have half? Oh my god, coal. Okay. Um, what are they going to do with coal to make it more effective? I think I just need to get more. What did I do with the chain again? Alright, yeah. Shandong. What happened over here? I don't even know. These guys aren't even mobilized. They can't be bothered to fight. I like how some of these guys do. It's, I think it's all like the Indian lot. The, um, and the guys over here. They're very eager. Alright, we've evaded Egypt. They've capitulated. Did that knock you down? No. Oh, it yeah, it did. Wow. Like, to it was such a massive degree as well. Something I actually need to do. And I haven't been doing just because I, I couldn't really. Uh, be able I can build the Eiffel Tower. Uh, it's not that. Uh, stay actions, reset production methods. I this is I need to do this to make them align with uh, what I'm doing elsewhere in the world. I'm not going to do that to the home areas because I'm just going to assume they're set up properly. Wait, where's my invasion? What the hell, man? I, I distinctly remember setting up an invasion. I, 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 the game's not going to gaslight me like this. I I know I know I did. Make sure we upgrade all this lot. They're not useless. Look, and his troops get to go home! I <laughs> just Let it pass, Lee. Let it pass. Who we got great powers wise? We have just me and Russia. And the rest of this lot are under my control. The Netherlands aren't, and I can take them next. So I will do that. The Netherlands and the Spanish. The Dutch and Spanish. Yeah, everyone else is just fighting each other. It's beautiful. I just cannot allow for um yeah, okay, Germany ship's fine. We can't allow for unified Germany. Unified Germany is not is not happening. Which, yeah, no, never. Because that'll take all these little states that I've taken ages to divide up, um, and they'll just... Thump. Look at them run around like they matter. <laughs> okay, we're naval invading, right? Yeah, okay, it's a regular infantry as well, so... And they should give me silk. Markets-wise, everyone is in the British market. <laughs> well, anyone who matters, at least. Oh, UA isn't. Oh, well, they will be now. So many markets in Europe. Why? What the hell's this? Why is there a front line there? Crimea. Why is Crimea separate? Why do I own it? What? Wait, is it separate? No, it's a state in Ukraine. I don't... Okay, whatever. Sure. Alright, cool. We've got a protectorate, which should help us out a bunch with our silk. Don't need to buy it from the chain anymore. We're about to finish our coal mines, and then we can get some cash going. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and... Make the Dutch a protectorate. It's not to actually mess with mainland Europe. Yeah, you make money again. About that. Russia sided with the Netherlands, the last great power. Uh, which is Russia, not the Netherlands. The Dutch were ever a great power at this point. Uh, uh, actually, no, just prices. They probably were. Mm, ish. Well, hey, if you sail up the, the Thames and blow up a bunch of British ships, you're, you're pretty great power in my books. Okay, so we're puppeting them uh what i mean i think we just do the the standard right and just oh in fact why don't i just take it Inger is always there can, can i not take the grand duchy of finland i could just conquer a bunch of estates these are so cheap it's ridiculous as dagestan i wish i could give it to my puppet but no astrakhan oh, russian cuban the hell's this then oh russian cars okay that works uh can i get any more be surprised if we can. I can. Dagestan, Astrakhan, Uralsk could be a good one. Excellent. Uh, let's upgrade the frigates. What's your import? Are you import? Come back home. We don't need a massive navy here. And uh, an upgrade. 
Like, I've definitely had big armies in this in previous playthroughs in um, Victoria 3, but I don't need a big army. That's the beauty of it. Because I've made everyone else weak. So my economy can grow much stronger in the absence of having a massive armed force because I don't need one. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Brings a tear to my eye. Okay, so you've got to take German le leadership, right? You, we force Austria to renounce their ambitions to unify Germany. Cool. So then if you, but if you try it, I will crush you, to be clear. I think I just need to start annexing Prussia. All right. Same old, same old. Invade. What the hell? All right. It's going to take a second. Uh, I'm going to need another army. Another general. My apologies. And another admiral. Preferably one without kidney stones. If possible. Eight days. Seven, six, five, four, three, one. And there we go. Oh, you can't access these areas. Wait. Wait. This is a port, right? Please help me have a port here. If you don't have a port, this is... this is. Oh, this is every area here. Half of Russia's just had no access to the Russian market. People must have been starving this entire time. Misri. Oh, succession movement. In Egypt, I assume. It's Misr. Is that going to stop it? I am violently suppressing them. No, it won't. I'll just fight him again. It's fine. It's really not an issue. I'm surprised this army's not, you know, doing anything. I'm surprised this navy's not doing anything either. Egyptian uprising. Okay, that's fine. We'll deal with that. Oh, you're really not landing because of the whole thing previously. Okay, look, there's no one here. Go to this front. I haven't even begun to land an invasion of uh, the Dutch yet. I wanted to rush up first, but again, we've got the same goddamn thing where I can't land because he keeps on cycling navies out. I don't understand how is it like how this works. I genuinely don't. If someone in the comments could uh, explain this to me, we're contesting it. Like you just, you should be able to land now, but it's contested constantly. Why is it contested? That's you know currently defending against the thing, and then we fight it, we win, and nothing happens. All right, look, you go over here. Just go help out. Right, fighting the Egyptians. Can you land now? He only has like 16 troops here. Come on. He's got nothing there. He's literally exhausted from fighting a massive war in Europe. Okay, that's another one done. And a final one. And that should be us in. Okay, and there's nothing to defend against us. Awesome. What are they, what's the KD like? Yeah, it's, it's just two times, which is good. Again, most of that's spread out, which is nice. Yeah, well, they're not going to produce worldwide of everything, which kind of makes it tricky to import things. Yeah, he hasn't upgraded his troops. They're just getting slaughtered. Okay, I'm just going to assume that we'll get this done soon. So let's just go invade Egypt real quick. Again, let's get build a slightly larger army. Might as well. And that's a bunch of territory taken. Oh, no! Can I build a port here? No! Oh, God. Well, you're all going to starve to death, aren't you? And I actually can't get there. Well, um... Yeah, well, we've got to deal with this again. There's an uprising in Egypt, which means I can't do anything else as a global empire, of course. Failed attack? What do you mean? We you failed attack? Who failed? I'll go after Kazan, and that should then get... Uh, we should be able to get bored with them. What the hell is this? No. I can't back them, because my... Ah, for God's sake. I can't back France in this diplomatic play, because... My relations are too low, even though it is in my interest directly for this not to take place. Even though I desperately, desperately need them, like the Prussians to lose this. That's ridiculous. Oh my God, that's so frustrating. Okay. Because the thing is, I'm, I'm now getting to the point where I'll be, I am getting frustrated. I might, it might, it's probably coming off as really moany. Um, but it's just lots of like... Lots of little things like one tiny province rebelling means that I can't... Or the Maasai tribe fighting me means that I can't do anything against uh, anyone. And then like me not like the me not liking the French means I can't stop a massive German state that's threatening me. Okay, we've got a new unit tribe, which is nice. Where's multiculturalism? Do I already know what that is? I need to invent human rights. Okay. <laughs> right, gotcha. Let's get on that then. Right, come on, lads, one more. The defense is actually massive. Right, cool. All right, now we fight. Can we not cut? Can we cut them down to size actively? Or their infamy level must be at prior. Okay, so I can't do that. I'm just gonna have to conquer them. Fantastic. Armenian succession. Okay, Egypt's done. We did this before the succession. Oh right, yeah. Sorry. There's the whole Netherlands thing. Completely forgot about that. That's that's on me. That's that's. I can't even blame the game for that. 
You know, Prussia's just unifying with everyone. Armenia seceded. That's fine. All this is delaying the Prussian problem. Where are the army of Ireland whilst they're just chilling? The communists are coming for our women, lads. Alright, and we've rinsed them. I imagine they don't have anything left. Yeah, they'll just take it. They are my puppet, right? Yeah? Protect it, cool. Right. Uh, this needs to happen. They don't have any troops. Why? Why is this even... Oh, okay. It's fine, Lee. It's fine. It's not stressing out. Good. What the hell's this? What? Do I... What? It says in turmoil, yada yada. Sure. I don't know what that means. Red scare. Okay, we've got communism. It's fine. Let's deal with the Armenians first. We can deal with the communists later. Come on. Fight back, you French bastards. Prussia's GDP is way over off the threshold we allow. Italy's is as well. Oh, okay, right. We're going to have to split all these guys up. Now, Bohemia's going after Hungary. I don't even know what's going on over there. Okay, I'm going to nip to the bathroom. When I come back, the Armenians better be crushed. And Prussia's unified with half of Germany already. Okay, I'm assuming, I'm assuming it, we won. Right. Uh, oh, Prussia's getting absolutely dunked on. Works for me. Again, embargoing me really doesn't hurt me. It hurts you. But sure. Buganda. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Give me a general. Okay, now now they're getting stomped on. I do need to upgrade my units. All right, everyone go home for sex. We can upgrade you. I get state atheism. Nice. No one wants multiculturalism. Sure. Guys, can we restrict child labor now? It's kind of not... It's kind of not very nice. Okay, so this is gonna hopefully cut Prussia down to size, which means they'll they'll vomit out all the other guys, right? Oh, no. The white piece is on the cards. So they'll white piece before anything else happens, which means they're gonna stay as they are. Okay, well, I'm very pleased about my course of action right now, then. Electricity shortage in Wales. Why is that? And in home counties... There's only 30 people employed here? What the hell is your... Why? Go seek gainful employment. What? Oh, yeah, look. There's the North German Federation. We've really not done such a good job, guys, at limiting this. I'm very upset right now. Uh, it's just the fact that I didn't like the French, so I couldn't prevent the Prussians from forming Germany. It's so stupid. Norway just invaded uncontested. It's a sad moment for Germany. It's just, it's just the Norwegians. <laughs> Hold out, boys. Oh my god, they are. There's 800 Norwegians. <laughs> they held out long enough for me to get here. They held out against... Oh, well, I mean, to be fair, they completely drained of manpower. But, you know, they've done they've done a good job. Okay, now they're no longer white piece. Good. Keep fighting. I'm here to batter them into submission. Pretty sure me taking this, though, means that you can't take it as a war goal. I'm just going to do as much damage as I physically can. Where's my money comes from? Diplomatic pack. Well, it doesn't, actually. Uh, does it? I think it does. What the hell? National revenue is uh, uh, almost a million. Uh, yeah. Okay, so about 40% of my income comes from uh, that. That's nice. How much do I spend on the army? 137 and... Pff, no, more than that. Christ. Did you white piece? No, you didn't. So where... What happened to Bohemia? What happened to Bohemia? Oh, Jesus, man. Who's fine on this front? None of my troops. You're just chilling. Why? I sent you in there. Generally, when I send you in there, that means you need to keep fighting until the war's done. I mean, I'm maybe I'm a stickler for the old laws, but... Go on, France. Look, he has literally nothing left. Oh, neither do you. Christ. Two of my commanders have died in this war. Go on, France. Just keep pushing, buddy. You really don't want to unify German in your border. I mean, yeah, admittedly, I am more of a threat, but y you know what I mean. I'd like to point out, uh, despite the fact that I'm actively in Berlin, uh, German, uh, the German Empire has actually formed. Uh, 66 million, they have. There we go. We've taken a bunch of territory off them. But they still have 60 million GDP. France actually might do it. <laughs> All right. No one wants the children to be in school, apparently. So we can't do that. Ottoman Peasant Revolt. No, they're still on recognized major power. Unless this goes on for a year. Oh, speaking of, keep reducing autonomy. Ukraine side with the Ottoman Empire. Why? Oh my god, they did it. So who's the number two great power now? Still the German Empire, but it ain't much of an empire. They, yeah, they're gone. King of France is almost as much, it was, uh, enough prestige to become uh, a great power. 
I don't think there are going to be any other great powers. There are going to be no great powers. It's just going to be me. Okay, cool. Okay, the Dutch I've already taken. Yeah, the Ottomans in a year. I can nick. We've got 40 battalions, but it's the Ukrainians helping out that's going to be an issue. All right, we're going to go up against Kazan. North Caucasus seceded. I've had a problem with this before. That was because I'm actually actively trying to conquer everything that moves. Sorry, the industrials are pressuring His Majesty's government to uh, become a presidential republic. <laughs> no. Victories against socialism. Things will never be the same again. Basically, I just oppress the hell out of my people. Probably don't need to spend so much of my army there. Okay, it's not going to be too, too long. And then I can nick the entire Ottoman Empire. A horrible march forwards, this. Kazan is very unfriendly terrain. I don't understand you. Why Why is no one working here? It's profitable. Why is no one working here? Why Why can't Why can't you do it? Are, are people not smart enough? Is there a lack of... Wait, maybe there's a lack of... Um, what do you call it? People here. No, there's 510,000 job seekers. But they're just not educated enough. Um, social mobility. There we go. Kazan is done. It's been a long war. Okay, they've just become unrecognized. Awesome, let's do it. That's perfect timing, actually. Make protectorate, Ottoman Empire. Who, who did what against me? War we'll against Radical El Salvador. Why would I care? Who's Radical El Salvador? That's got nothing to do with me. Okay, that one, that one does. Why are you cocky? What the hell about this situation made you think like you could take me? What? Well, you know what? We'll leave that for a second. All right, we're fighting the Ottomans. All right, what to do about the United States? What's the Red Revolution yellow headlines? What's that? Well, we can support policing measures, sure. Okay, so it's just you, right? So... I'm just gonna conquer everything, I guess. Actually, I'm gonna do something way worse. I'm gonna do something way, way worse. Oh, France is in this war. Sure, why, why not? Why wouldn't he be? All right, American New York. And I'm gonna conquer New Jersey. Maryland, Delaware. Maryland, Delaware, and Virginia. Virginia. Conquer State, Maryland, Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania. I've done this, New York. So what do I have right now? New York, New Jersey, Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware. I'm cutting off everything from the capital. <laughs> there you go. And uh, I don't know what else. America, Colorado, why not? No, I should have armies over there. My home army's gonna deal with the Ottomans first. Oh, right, yeah, that whole Normandy thing. Um, I'm gonna ignore that for now, frankly. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. We're gonna sweep into there, sweep across into here. Did you land immediately? Oh my god. Damn, the Ottomans already got banged up on that. Oh, right, they're on this front. That's why. Injuring Israeli. Oh, hello. Um, no, I'm not helping you. So normally he's going to get rolled, but that's okay. Yeah, that's that's a decent KD. <laughs> uh, Alright, he's opened up a second front behind me. Um, just by clicking on it. So now we have three fronts and I can't fight on any of them. Didn't even know this was a front. There you go. Just force him out, please. Come on, laddie. Just force him out. There are so many front lines. I'm scared. Uh, you know what? We're going to drop 85 in here. Just need to push them out of the Aegean Islands. So there's no more front line there. But okay, there's still a front there. Why is there still a front here? It's an island. Why can't I defend an island? Who wants peace? The Ottoman Empire wants white peace. No. Why would I do that? Nobody's under control. Well, that's that's fine. It's because all my troops are elsewhere. If the AI launched a, uh, a cheeky naval invasion now, that would be phenomenally inconvenient for me. All right, you done? Nice. Now go to another front line. Not the one, yeah, not that one, not that one. Go to this, whatever. It's fine, my my, uh, my allies are pushing through. Right, you are naval invading, right? Yes. There's 12 of you versus 12 of them, that does not matter. We are simply built different. So are the Mexicans. Oh cool, there's no one here, excellent. I right, was gonna fall first, the Turks, the Americans. It should be the Turks, I mean, we have their entire nation. They're just, but they're like, no. Wait, what? Oh my god, they became they became a, a major power again, so my war goal, for whatever reason, is just gone. So I can't do anything but white peace with them. 
That's so stupid, man. Cool. Whatever. Fine. I'm used to it at this point. That sounds so upsetting. Okay, the game did not like my p- Oh no, it's alright. It's happy. It's okay. I think it just took a second to figure out what I was trying to do. The game's running a lot smoother now. I don't know why that is. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, I, I took everything but the capital state, which means that all of this stuff here is now got 0% access to the American market. So I've split the Americans at three. They are still a great power. Somehow. As of the French. If I get rid of the French, um... I don't know why the French are a great power still, but thresholds, I guess. Russia's getting absolutely destroyed by something. Kokand is destroying the Russians. Ah, right. Okay, I can't, um, the Carney Wars because there's a minor succession movement. Um, uh, sorry, a minor revolt in Southeast Asia. So, you know how these things work. I've got to send an entire division to naval invade the state. We did Ching. I, I need to take out the Qing. I'm going to start annexing some of their territories. Okay, the 20 million threshold. I mean, there's the Raj, which is okay. Yeah, a couple of nations are now sneaking over it. All right, who's the largest nation that I can grab that isn't a great power? Um, Greece, apparently. Spain, sure. Brittany, but isn't Brittany already mine? Yeah. Okay, the UI is now freaking out. <laughs> I'm going to save and reload. The game is breaking. You guys land yet? C could you land, please? Excellent. Good job. Well done. All right, I want to make Egypt protectorate. And then we'll start marching uh, on Qing next, I think. All right, North German succession it is. Wait, what? What's going on here? Austria. All right, well, I, I guess it's time we just start conquering Austria. You'd think they'd learn, right? So you're just not going to mobilize your troops, huh? Some sort of silent protest, or what? what is this? No one can deny the power of the British Empire, I guess. Created British Senegal, apparently. I'm running around reducing autonomy a little bit. Okay, and reducing Breton autonomy. Occitania and Austria have both gotten involved. So that that's fine. Um, I'll just conquer them. There you go, that works. Italy, Qing, everyone else, cool. And France. Right, uh, nope, France decided against it. Okay, so realistically I just need to push into Brittany. Everyone's going to go elsewhere. And that works for me. So they'll go over to the Qing front, the UA front. They're going to fly all around the world and leave their territories completely. Yeah, look at him. He's going to go, isn't he? Don't, don't do it. Yep, he's gone to China. Uh, come on, man. All of them together don't have half of what I have. Uh, actually, speaking of, I should probably mobilize some troops. All right, it's Naval Vader, uh, um, Aquitaine or Catani or however you're going to say it. There you go, three weeks. He's got no one there. Please don't do the thing where you spam defend. It's be very annoying. Again, I'm like a relatively, like economically speaking, weak G, uh, GB at this point. That's also because no one has any goods. I have to get everything myself. She's Indies was defeated. Why are they there? The fleets are contested, apparently. I don't think that they are, but whatever. That's fine. <laughs> Ching's not even pushing forwards. There's a massive fight over there. Ching versus the Raj, look, they've got no men left, and we just need to take this province, like this lot, that's all. We can't, alright, let's summon this lot, one second. Alright, raid convoys, you lot, go there. I see so many fleets, we have to defeat all of them, which we can, it's just they're never all together. It's not contested! <laughs> like, I'm raiding the hell out of it, I'm, I'm fighting them, I'm raiding them, I'm doing everything. Yeah, there you go, once more. 57 ships versus 14, and he's still got the old type of, 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 of ones. Oh, God! This is suffering. Breton autonomy has been reduced. Great. Battle takes place. So the frustrating thing as a player is a lot of the war side of things is hidden. This is what I think I find frustrating. It's hidden behind things. Like, I don't know what's going on here. I don't understand why this isn't taking place. Right? I, I don't know. He's, he's like, it doesn't tell me. So I don't know why I'm not landing right now. It just says contested. But the, it shouldn't be contested. Whereas, like, if I was able to micro myself, I could just go over here, right click, and everything has a big old fight in the middle. 
Okay, I'm gonna launch another naval invasion in Languedoc. Alright, this lot have landed instantly. So I, I don't understand. Like, could, so this is controlled by me, but this isn't controlled by me. Why is this? Why is this contested? They don't have a single army here and a single navy. Doesn't make sense. No reason why it should be contested. All right, they're pushing now. I'm acting as the Suez Canal right now. <laughs> there is no military advantage for me to create the Suez Canal because it means my enemies will use it. Right now, I have a Suez Canal. <laughs> it's it's just called my land. Come on, Catania. I know you want to peace out, buddy. Wow, apparently you really don't. So I just did... What was that? The electrical capacitors. So electric sewing machines. Minus 356. Okay, right. My bad. We're not ready for that yet. So how much rubber do I need? I'd need so much more steel, which you can't afford. I'd like loads of rubber. Where's the... any? Do I, where are any of my tooling workshops? Where's the most? Munster. So I'd need 640 rubber for this. Only this. Okay. Only 20. Jesus, that is... No, there's no point in me doing that. It's so hideously inefficient. Regime change in Norway. That's what you wanted to do? Really? <sighs> sure. Alright, everyone happy with this? Cool, thank you. Uh, Okatana, you used to be... Uh, Okatana used to be a great power, and now you have nothing. You are no one. I'm sorry. Don't know what planet France is a uh, great power, but we've got to take... We've got to get rid of them. Why? Why do I have a truce with him? <laughs> okay. That's fine. USA is now a minor power. We can go and scoop them up soon. So the issue I'm having now is time, right? So it takes, you know, 80 days or so for me to do something like this, right? Mobilize, get everything done, get everything ready. 80 days. And so by the time like that's done, I fight the war. I've only got one you know, one puppet, let's say Spain, or one province, you know? So it's starting to get to diminishing returns in terms of a macro view of things, because I'm getting less and less each time. My only hope is that country, other countries actually join in, so I can take their land at the same time. Because I never, uh, plus, obviously, the game's slowing down a lot, which doesn't help. That's probably to do with uh, the copious amounts of new uh, countries I've created. Okay, is there a way to make rubber? It's elastics, pasteurization... The telephone. 10% army offense is no bad thing. Oh my god, they actually did it. Thank you, Spain, for this gift. Is it just Austria got involved? It was indeed. Cape Colony's religious revolt. That's a really cool flag. Oh no, Austria. I would really wouldn't leave your territories, buddy. It can. Makes my life a lot easier. For a little bit, at least. I want to go protection because no one else is building anything. Uh, I went to go laissez faire. Hell yeah, that sounds great to me. I don't have to do anything. For God's sake. <laughs> like, at least sink a ship or two, you know what I mean? It's contested! Yay! This is the Cuban. This is... This is not what, doing what you think is doing. Well, everyone's getting revolts now. I have to fight all of them. Alright, you know what? Let's, let's start getting an army on that. Start off with the Norwegian one. And we'll go over to the South Africans, and then we'll go over to the Australians. Bit by bit. <laughs> still can't land. It's, uh, it's still contested. <laughs> oh no, now it's controlled. Thank Christ. Let's get 147 units. All of them are going to go to Cape Colony in South Africa. Go, 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 quick. Spain is now protectorate. Australian proletariat revolt is breaking out. I've sent more of my forces to go and deal with other things than I have with Austria. Alright, did you arrive? Please tell me, please tell me you're going to arrive in time. Don't, don't you dare tell me they're going to get forced out and have to naval invade. I'm going to freak out if that's the case. Just get there. You son of a... Cool. I've landed in Austria. There's a front. Why are you naval invading if there's a front? And how the hell is it contested? There's one ship. You have 159 of them. Why? Come on, please. It's not, that's not being contested. All right. Norwegian captain's revolt is done. We've landed successfully, weirdly enough. No idea what just happened there. There's a weird-ass church here. I don't know what that's about. What is it? Focus on the future, and for the nation to develop, industrialize under the growthments of... What? Reforms based on scientific principles. N no, I'm not doing that. That's weird. <laughs> it's the whole, like, technocracy movement in the US. Like, it sounds great, but up until... You know, you don't really want to remove humanity from governance. It's not a good idea. Okay, so we can do another war once this is done. Come on, Australia. Just surrender. 
I've decided, that I, I've decided I am going to go for the uh, positivist stuff. It just, why not? It'll be funny. <laughs> Never seen it before, so it'll be cool. Okay, several people are over 20 million now. Kingdom of France is the main issue here. See, I've got loads of people that I could make protectorates, but like, it's there's so many, and it's for such little gain. Now, let me get rid of some consumption taxes. Doing some expeditions because, well, why, why not really? Pacifist, oh, positivist military reformers. Cool. Let's just do more of that. Okay, the chain's got involved. So I'm going to take their land. I'm taking their entire coastline. Something's going on here. What is it? Rush Croatian up. Right. Well, the Austrian peasant revolt's doing pretty well as well. Japanese don't have anyone back because we've just capitulated the, uh, the Qing. Or, oh, in fact, I need to reset state production of it. All right, we've finished off the Red Scare. That's nice. Japan won't even agree to a white piece, which is incredible given that I have their entire state under control. I'm, I'm very shocked. All right. There we go. More of Japan done. Now, I have two more things I want to do. Firstly, make sure no one else has a great power. And there's one great power I need to contend with. Okay, so Japan has surrendered. There's one, one or two more things I want to do. Uh, the first is, well, there's only one other great power that's legally defined as a great power, and I want to get rid of them. Oh, Romania formed. Nice. So Prussia has land over here. That's weird. If you were to join for something, I don't know what that something is, but they'll join for something. Just stay down, Italy, all right? Just stay down. Pilgrims crawled their way back up into being a major power, and I don't want to talk about the Ottomans, because I should have had the Ottoman Empire as a protectorate. It's stupid that I haven't. <laughs> just 50, the 57th French Army, or well, the 5th French Army is just sitting there, 57 troops, and 45 of them are over here as well. I could acquire land in the Sinai, apparently. For 30,000, or I could just take it. I, I wanted to click that, because I've never clicked that button before, to see if I can coerce them. I want to see how much it costs. How much of France's GDP is this going to be? 9%, uh, I think I'm taking up until here, so that is 15, uh, that's 24, 32, 41. We're about to take 41% of their GDP. It's nice they're trying, you know? But they just don't have the manpower. We get absolutely rinsed. Oh, they're traveling through Switzerland. They come and like hold out in Alsace Lorraine. It's not gonna matter. And there goes the French. There we go. That's terrifying. My final act shall be to take out the United States of America. <laughs> because of course. Japanese secession. Yeah, fair. What if I violently suppress them though? <laughs> would that would that help? If I had Poland, there'd be a connection all the way from Ukraine down here, through India, round here, almost through uh, the entirety of Asia in Eurasia. I mean, technically, if I take one a couple more provinces over here, I'd have one through North, North America as well. Anyone else join? No? Just us? Oh, right, yeah, I suppose I need to actually probably mobilize. All right, let's wait for the war. Things with the secession movements, there's a, there's, all right, so they've seceded. Then it's not immediately a war. I've got to wait for a, a whole thing first. So I don't think it matters that there's naval inefficiency, lads. I don't think there's anyone there to defend, so. Just land, like, there's no one there, please. There, there is no one there. There is act, okay, cool, they did land. Increase Senegalese French and Senegalese autonomy. They're trying to annex French Senegal. United States America is in default. I wonder why. There's a Japanese uprising. United States is defaulted again. Does that mean I could just do it? No. They might be broke, but they're still independent. Where are you, where are you going? England HQ. <laughs> Job well done, guys. No, America's still standing, you idiots. It's actively a front line they're pushing on. They're pushing into British territory. These are... British citizens than they have been for the last, what, 20 years. But no, it's not done yet. I don't even know where this Congo thing is. Alright, we did it. So you're gonna land, and then I'm in a, some sort of war. Establish a colony in Congo, that's nice. Just need to take out colonial, well, radical Australia. And then I'll be good to go. Oh, we can sponsor positivist philosophy. Huh. We're nearing the next stage of our revolution. 22% research speed. Jesus. We do get like 400 um, right now in terms of our uh, research, which is pretty, pretty nifty. 
Come on, please. Just let me finish this goddamn video. Before someone else decides to attack me, hurry up. Also, I'm building uh, the Eiffel Tower, Big Ben, and the, uh, the Statue of Liberty, because why not? It's weird you can build the Statue of Liberty when technically it was built in France and then shipped over to the US, but eh, whatever. I've just been in one, like, revolt after another, or colonization rights, or 15 other things. I mean, our colonization speed is, colonization speed is ridiculously fast now. So that's cool. Now watch this. Here we go. It's two days, one day, and it takes 50 days for one of these provinces. Which is great. Can, can we peace out now, guys? Please, just let it go. Come on, man. Son of a bitch. <laughs> ah! I'm paralyzed. I can't play the game because there's always something against me. Oh, God. I genuinely have not been able to play. I mean, I've, I've conquered a couple of places in Europe, but like, other than that, yeah. I can't do anything. There's too many uprisings. Doesn't help the game has slowed down to an absolute cruel. I'm tempted to just surrender. Just have the land, like. Please get there before he pushes in and, and means we have to do a naval invasion. Please. I've got 120. Why is there only five fighting? Go on, in you go. In you go, son. Oh, actually, white piece. No, you don't want to? Just whatever, fine. Do a quick Moroccan GDP check. 5.49 million. Canadians, 3.07. Nice. Look at that. It's done well there. Probably because no one's attacking them. But I, mean, I haven't. Why would I? It's Morocco. Come on, man! I'm dying out here! Austria's fighting a Romanian uprising. I, they only have 26 divisions. It doesn't matter anymore. Prussia's in three places. One of those is in, is in Hungary. It's not even any German territory. Expand our colony in Southern Africa. There you go. Enjoy that. Cape Colony. Sounds good. Please... Yes. Oh my god. Finally, we're out. We can actually do things. Just wanted to do this. Okay, people to reduce their autonomy. Brittany, reduce autonomy. Done. Over here. Dead Oh, it's the Netherlands. No, oh, I thought it was the Guiana. UA, they'll do it. Luxembourg will do it. Alright. So all of this lot. I don't know what the hell you are. You're Dominion. These guys are puppets. They're all red, apart from the United States of America. We're ignoring that because, frankly, I'm sick of this game. <laughs> Alright, that's... Uh, what happened here? Did I... Okay, what? I must have just lost that territory. I don't remember, frankly. I... Maybe I just handed it off to avoid having to play anymore. Uh, yeah, that's that's my attempt at a world conquest. Only the Ottomans really got off scot-free. Uh, I could probably go through and finish this off, but I, I don't want to. I'm considering a victory that there are no other great powers. It's just me and everyone else is sort of playing, well, for nothing. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm so done with this game. I don't ever want to play it again. <laughs> so recognition of that fact, please do like and subscribe and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Christ. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JadeOw52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on it.